I know there's one thing we saw, but we'll, we'll go ahead. I was going to say that the, the, the time thing at the top is just like it's highlighting yellow just for people who don't know. Uh, it, it, it's going oh. to warn you anytime you try to do float. We'll zoom in here. Uh, any, anytime you try to do float operations on uh, and set and check with zero, mm -hmm. because with floating point precision, it's probably not going to be zero. Now, in the case of delta time like this, it's probably going to set it to zero. That's kind of what you're doing, so it's okay. But just if anyone ever wonders what that is, it's yeah. literally telling you floats don't save. It's hard to, I don't want to go into detail of how memory management works for it, but it, you're basically, floats can be 0 0.00001. Some super, super low number, yeah. yeah. And so comparing against zero can often lead to, to odd scenarios. If By you're the not way, aware of that. that super, super low number can be found technically by calling float.epsilon. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, or you can also do double.epsilon if you're using doubles. Yeah, just, you know, one one way. Or another. What the heck, Ryder, dude? What are you doing? There's also um, there's also min and max values. So if you can do, you can do float dot min and stuff. And there's there's other stuff like that. Yeah, min and value. I've always used epsilon because I feel like that is pretty pointed. It looks cooler. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Represents the smallest positive single value that is greater than zero. Come on. Yeah. What does min value say then? <laughs> it's it's non-positive. I think it's negative. Hmm. I think min value would be the mo the lowest negative value. So. Yeah, so, so what, uh, in this particular situation, yeah, it wouldn't work. Yeah, so so Spar, what, toler what tolerance is is basically saying <laughs> if, if I said um, is a equal to b, and a is one and b is zero point nine, the answer is false. Mm -hmm. If I gave it a tolerance of zero point one, I'm saying eh, you're pretty much the same thing. Yeah, now, that's obviously a huge number. You don't want to use that something that large. But when yeah. you're doing things like checking distance comparisons, so if you're if you've got something and it's moving uh, and and you're, it's got a velocity and it's hitting its point. Depending on that velocity, you might overshoot or you might mm -hmm. never hit the actual point. So sometimes it makes a good it's a good idea to sort of say uh, when you get within X range of it, it pretty much counts as true. Yeah, especially for velocity, you might actually do something like 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 even, yeah. which is kind of high. But yeah, calling epsilon would be similar to calling something like that, like such, such a stupid low number. But in memory, um, it's not going to be exactly zero. So and, and and seeing as we're on that topic, just a just a warning for anybody out there. Um, we've talked before about people who've come from .NET moving to Unity, or people, but for people who are going from Unity and who move over to software as a service type systems, be very very wary. Unity leans on floats specifically because they've got a much lower memory footprint yeah, footprint for size. Right, they're a lot smaller because you're you're allowing it to get fuzzy with some of the lower values. Mm -hmm. uh, double, on the other hand, is a double precision, so it's got considerably more memory taken up yeah so be very careful never under any circumstance use float <laughs> to represent money or anything that is important that's meant to go down to decimal values because you will literally get uh off errors and you will effectively money will disappear and that gets very very dangerous <laughs> so keep in mind float is being used in this context to represent something where it's good enough if it's close enough ish if you're using anything that's mathematically accurate or you want to do something that leans more in that direction, you're going to want to use probably something like that. Listen.